Hey guys, today's video is going to be on how to remove a broken off bolt with the welder. You can see these two exhaust bolts on this five horse Briggs block are broke off here. and I'm going to show you how to remove a broken off bolt with using the welder. This is actually be the first time I've ever used this method. Most of the time, you can see, I've just tried to use vice grips on this and these are stuck in this block. And this was left outside for a long time. This is the same engine that uh, I used in a video on how to remove uh, uh, a seized piston and uh, stuck valves and uh, if you ain't seen that video I'll put it in up here and this is a I guess you call it a long term restoration project it needs board out bad as you can see the scores in the cylinder there but it's just uh, it's also got a hole in the block where it threw a rod and uh, I just ain't done nothing with it since I made that video and I was saying the other day this would be a good example of how to remove broken off bolts because I remember that had the exhaust bolts broken off. So basically all you got to do is, on this one since it's been sitting for a while, I'm going to grind this down so you get real clean metal. And we're going to weld a nut on here and keeping the, the arc in the middle part so that all the heat gets on the bolt. That way it will help break up whatever's made it stick. Then the... Uh, and get a socket on it at the end and loosen it right up hopefully this is also true if you got a broken bolt uh, that's flush like if there's a bolt right here you get that to a welder I'm using a MIG welder a flux core so you better get that wire going right down inside there on top of it and since the block is aluminum you don't have to worry about the, the nut getting welded to the block itself the aluminum might melt a little bit but it shouldn't really matter so we're going to see how it does. Let me grind this. I'm going to grind these down a little bit and find a nut and we'll get right back to you. Okay, so I got these ground down just a little bit just so it's clean. Got a nut that will fit loose. It don't really matter. You're not going to get it perfect. And it don't matter since it's just a one time use. And these nuts are half inch. Half inch socket fits it. And I got the, I already got the breaker bar ready. The half inch socket. Because uh, we're going to do one at a time here, and uh, you want to get that, uh, you want to go ahead and get this one there and try to loosen it as soon as you can while it's still hot. That'll help free it up, so let me go ahead and get the welder up, set up. Okay, guys, I got the block sitting here. This should give me a good enough ground. You can see I just got the nut sitting on there. I was going to weld it straight up, and I was like, well, this will help keep it in place, keep it from falling off, so I'm going to do it like this. And start out with, see how it does. I'm going to run the welder on 90 amp with the, the wire speed in the middle. Safety first. Don't forget to wear your helmet. Safety glasses and gloves like I'm not wearing. Best method yet. Can't do that with the uh, penetrating oil. Get him get the other one done. Let these cool off and we'll look at them here, see what it looks like. Well guys, I'm a firm believer in this method now. You can see it weld penetrated it pretty good there and still a little hot. So yeah, that's the best method. And like I said, that does two things. First of all, it gives you something to grab a hold of. And second, all that heat right there will make it the uh, corrosion or whatever break loose that's holding the threads in. And you can see there's really no damage to the block at all. 
a little bit of heat mark from the slag I caught from the flux core. I was concerned about getting a spatter the head here in the valves, but there ain't none there. Of course, on this one, it didn't really matter anyway because all this is going to be uh, milled down and bored out and everything. So, And right after I got done welding it, the block was just barely warm. So I don't know if I was touching. I'm just saying that the heat didn't... Uh, wouldn't have to, you wouldn't have to worry about warping the metal or anything. Just a little tiny bit of heat there for a minute. Well, guys, I guess that's about it. If you got any questions or comments, feel free to leave a comment below, and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. So thanks for watching.